Okay folks, um, I'm going to tell you um, the Calvin shrimp or a slight variation of the Calvin shrimp um, if you like. So the hook I have on the vise is a size 10 Partridge Patriot double. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 80 in fire orange. So I'm just going to come in and get my thread started a few mil behind the eye of the hook. Just run on a few turns of thread and then remove the, the waist tag. Now the tag and the rib on the fly is going to be a, a oval gold tinsel and small. So I'm just going to come in and take a length of this, trim away the excess. Just like to catch my oval silver tinsel in underneath a couple of turns, keeping your thread tight. Bring the oval gold tinsel underneath the hook and then just run this down. Tying it in. Now I'm just going to bring my thread down until I'm in line with the point of the hook. And then I'm going to come around with four turns of the oval gold tinsel. And on the fifth turn, bring it up and in between the two hooks to lock in your tag. Now I'm going to run my thread up, keeping the oval gold tinsel staying underneath the hook. Just run it up and then we're going to fold it back over itself for the rib. To there now just come in grab your oval gold tinsel fold it back in underneath the hook and then just run your thread back down just makes sense to do this makes the fly stronger plus now you have your rib tied in so the first part of the tail is red this is just red arctic fox so now, you want the first part of the tail to be much the length of the hook over the back. You just come around with a pinch and loop and a couple of turns to hold. Next part of the tail, I'm going to use dyed foxtail and sunburst. We pinch here off and all just to try and speed the tan up a wee bit. And you want this twice the length or a length and a bit of the red fox over the back. Come around with another pinch and loop. A couple of turns to hold. Now at this stage I'm going to put in some flash and I'm just using the UV micro flash. So I'm going to put that up into the tail. Come around with a turn to hold two turns to secure it in. Now see the excess? I'm just going to trim it away, moisten it, leave it on my desk for the for the wing. And then I can come in and trim these. The other two parts once the, the length of the orange part of the tail. Next part of the tail is magenta. And this is magenta arctic runner now i want this the same length as the red part of the tail so i'm just going to hold it there come around with a pinch and loop and then a couple of turns to secure just to make sure everything's sitting where it should be now i'm just going to come back because that's moved on me I'm just going to come in Get it sorted out here. Just take your time. There's a lot to the fly, so I'm just going to come back and get it measured up again to the right length. Hold it on top, come around, pinch and loop, and a couple of nice tight turns just to hold it in place. Now I'm happy enough with that, so at this point I'm going to come in with my scissors. Just cut all the materials in a tapered cut, keeping a hold of my tail, and run my thread up. Just hang all these in, just nice and tight the whole way up and then come back down. Now because I've tied forward and I'm away up from the tail, so hopefully you can see that. Best thing to do is just keep a hold of your tail and keep your thread turned straight and bring them back tight up against your tag. 
and your tan and your tail at the same time. Okay, now the body. The body is dubbed. And the body is a mix of red, seals fur, and yellow, light bright. So I'm just going to come in, take a pinch. Now you don't need much. Don't need much, yes. Always remember taking your dubbing the one way. Slide that up. And then we can get it started. And then you can tighten up with the dubbing. Run that up to there. Now, and then it's going forward to stroke it back. Get a couple of turns in front. And then you can bring up your rib. And you're probably looking around about four turns of the oval gold tinsel up the body to there flying around with your thread one turn to hold a couple of turns to secure and then come in and trim away the excess of the oval gold tinsel next part of the fly is the wing and the wing is going to be arctic foxtail dyed the sunburst same as in the tail right. I just want this coming slightly past the magenta so I'm just going to hold it there my finger and thumb around with a pinching loop and a couple of tight turns now just bring it in make sure it's sitting on top and then you can come in and spread this with your nail on top or a couple of turns to secure that in then I want to come in and make a pair of sharp scissors and trim that away. A couple of wee fibers there, but it didn't get. Just come in and take those away. Now, the two bits of UV flash that I use for the tail. Just come back in and get those. Just going to offer those down the side, round with a pinch and loop. Another two turns to hold. Going to fold back the flash. Bring them into the center. Now, I'm going to leave them all in. What I'm going to do is come in and just trim these. I'm going to leave that all in the wing, tighten up. Now, next part of the fly is orange. This is a an orange uh, Chinese cock hackle. So I'm just going to come in, take a feather away. Come in, just stroke back the fibers to reveal the tips. Now, you don't want to be going crazy with turns here. You need to leave yourself plenty of room. So two or three turns of this is plenty. Because you've got your jungle cock and then another hackle to go in front. So just come in. Locate the tip, break it away. And then I'm just going to come in with my scissors. And just stroke the, the fibers back. And like I say, three turns maximum for me anyway. So that's one. another one that's two and then one more I should do it that's three now keep your hold your hackle underneath follow it around with your thread one turn to hold a couple of turns to secure everything and come in scissors trim that away trim the excess of the Hackle stem away. Now, just going to bait a thread down to there and back up. Now, we're not looking too bad. Now, we're going to come into some jungle cock. It's a wee cape bar. I'm just going to select two eyes. There's the two eyes there. Now, all I do is just to get them lined up on my hand first. So we're seeing the undersides. I'm just trying to get them lined up the best I can. And then what I do is I just come in. I don't take the fibers away. I'm just stroking them back just to get some sort of tan in point. Then I'm going to offer them up into the wing. Just hold them there, both of them. Come around with a couple of loose turns. Don't want to tighten anything up yet. And then I'm going to come in and see. 
but we were sitting. Now, this one here is just a wee bit long, so I'm just going to come in and pull it in a wee bit and just check. Just check, make sure you're happy enough. Now, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to hold the jungle cock down an hour, a couple of turns, nice and tight. Under the stem, it's going to fold the jungle cock back and then bring the thread back up over the stems. Now, if you keep your thread tight, you can come in and you can usually break the stems away. That one doesn't want to break away. So, the one that doesn't want to break away, I'll just come in again with my scissors and just trim it. Just didn't want to break away that wee one. You can just tidy up a couple of turns of thread. Next haggle is a red bodger. This is just a cheap red bodger kit that I have. Right, I'm just going to come in, just what I always do, take away all the rubbish at the bottom, and then come in and stroke back the fibres to reveal your tip. After up to the hook, one turn to hold, another turn to secure, fold back the tip, bring your thread back up over the top of the tip and the haggle. Come in, locate your tip, you break it away, and I'm just going to come in with my scissors and just stroke back the fibres and then just one turn in front of the other. Now the turns are they're usually dictated by the quality of the of the hackle and the way you like to dress your flies. So that's two. Now what I'll do is put another one in to there, now keeping a hold of the stem underneath of the hackle, following around with your thread. A couple of tight turns in to hold everything in place. Uh, I don't want to fold it back so I'm going to be creating bulk so I'm going to come in and just trim away the excess of the stem just come in and fold everything back at this stage and then just create your head just build up a nice neat head at this point nice and bright by the the far orange thread. You can come in, you can maybe come in with some glow bright floss if you like and brighten the head up even more. That's bright enough for me using the far orange thread so happy enough for that. Come in with my whip finishing tool and just to win a whip finishing the way back down. Put the thread tight, come in, trim away the thread. Now, Come in and get a wee look at the fly. Make sure everything's sitting the way it should be. Happy enough for that. Now, first coat on the head, super glue. Just to seal everything up. Don't want to get into your, any of your haggles. Just ruining all your work you've just done. So just take your time. Just put it on the on the head and then once that's dry come in a couple of coats of varnish on the head and that will finish the fly off so there you go so it's just a slight variation on the calvin shrimp good fly for fresh fish and for resonance fish so it's a it's a good all-rounder for the salmon so tie a few up i'm sure people already have it in their box but there you go and hopefully you can catch you a few fish